But look at Jocelyn's card. I know. She's she got so all. Many good scores. She did. Good morning, friends. It is the next day of the Ohio extravaganza, and we are going to a barn sale. Boy. Barn sale. Oh, barn sale. So we're going to a barn sale. We saw the sign yesterday when we were coming home from the flea market. Oh, and by the way, look, I got a crazy lamp lady in my car. <laughs> and I have a mark and Jeffrey and Barbara behind us. So we're gonna caravan to the barn sale. We don't know what to expect, but Mark said there was a very nice sized Goodwill. So we're gonna go to the barn sale first and then to the Goodwill. So we'll see, maybe this will be two videos. Maybe it will be one video. We'll see. Barn sale, look, there's little baby donkeys. Hi babies. Yeah. yeah. What? My car doesn't do that. Barb's got her mask on. Say hi, Barb. <laughs> hi. Thank you. Oh yeah, Mark. Mark spotted the Jeep. Oh, I see a bunny. It's a little bunny. Oh, these are pretty. These are a napkin rings. Oh, I like this. Oh, it's cracked. That's beautiful. The frame's beautiful. It's smaller. It's more hat pins. She's damaged, you know. She's got a cracked head. My boy. Technical exercise for the piano. Before and after practice. My boy. That's kind of cute. I like that. Five dollars for the My Boy sheet music. There's Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. We're at barn sale number two. So we're gonna check this out and see if we can find some cool stuff. I see a vintage camper. I mean, it's not quite vintage what I'm looking for vintage, but it's still pretty cool. There's an old chicken coop. I like that ladder back chair. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Some saddles. I think they're. I don't know. Well, I like him. Here's a carnival class flower frog. Mm -hmm. What are you? Oh, you're a squishy guy. A squishy guy. He's a squishy guy. Cincinnati. Well, the barn sales were very brief. So now we have discovered that there is a, well, we were on our way to Starbucks, but then on our way to, we noticed the Goodwill. 
the Goodwill shop. So we're gonna go into the Goodwill. I've got my mask, we all have our masks. And then we're going to go over to Starbucks and get some coffee and then we're going to another Goodwill. So let's go. Oh my gosh, this is fancy. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this a new store? <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, of course there's music. Doing a voiceover and here I am going through the carts. I love going through the carts, seeing what new things have just been brought out. Sometimes you can find some really cool things. Although this time I wasn't finding much of anything. Just some plates and some toys and just wasn't a lot of good stuff. So then I turned my attention to the, the wooden aisle. And on the wooden aisle, I just, I see kind of a few small things just some baskets and some just lots of things just kind of honestly just tossed around the shelves then i turned my attention to look through some of the electronics because sometimes things can be just kind of mixed on in there i noticed the cat letter holder and i loved it but i didn't get it and then as i'm editing i noticed that wine rack trophy thing and i should have got that and i didn't even see it so i just kept walking looking through some of the art trying to find my friends looking at the shelf and all of the lighthouses and all of the figurines they were all home co not things that i am interested in buying i got excited seeing the christmas section so i'm just kind of looking through and i see the sequin art do you remember those not anything that i wanted to get right now but i was so hoping to find some good vintage christmas and it wasn't just the things that i was looking for Probably things from the 90s, just not things that I myself look for. And then I noticed Santa peeking through the window. He's kind of creepy. I didn't get him though. Just still just kind of looking for some good vintage Christmas items, just not having any luck. There were some Hallmark ornaments and I, I was looking at some of them, but oh, and then I noticed monkey, monkey Santa. I loved monkey Santa. Monkey Santa had a tree behind his back. Look at his monkey feet. He was great. I didn't get him though. And I've noticed this Mrs. and Mr. and Mrs. Claus ornaments, but they're not Hallmark. I did open up and think about these Hallmark ornaments, but then I remembered, Misty, you have stacks of Hallmark ornaments that you still haven't listed. Put them down. Put it down, Misty. Put it down. Good girl. Oh no, no, you need to put them all down. You have no business buying Hallmark ornaments. So luckily, I refrained and I did not buy any Hallmark ornaments. I noticed this. I had bought these before and sold them. They're made by Hallmark, but just really isn't something that I'm really wanting to buy right now. Still hoping that I'm finding a little Santa mug in there somewhere. There just wasn't. There just wasn't a lot, not a lot to choose from on this day in the Christmas aisle. Some Christmas lights, just not a lot of fun stuff. So then I walk by the carts again looking for my friends oh look there's barb way down at the end and then i get excited because here we go with the halloween aisle and i noticed her and i loved her but she wasn't that oh and then i have hand painted pumpkin and decided to leave him behind i'm so looking for some cool vin vintage halloween that wasn't vintage it was a newer piece um, and then there's her no worries i didn't buy her so then i go to the next aisle and i see this cute little air plant vessel for 69 cents unfortunately it had some breaking on the pedal so i put it back still just hoping to find something something looking at the glassware i'm always looking for restaurant wear. i'm always looking for fun bright colorful pieces it's just a lot of not and that was had a car on it i decided to put that down this was like a peach kind of a thing. I wasn't quite sure what it was. It was 99 cents. I went ahead and set it down. Uh, still, oh, these are acrylic salt and pepper shakers. They are vintage. They had a little bit of damage on the nose, so I decided to leave them behind. They're cute little acrylic salt and pepper shakers. Not quite sure what this was, just some piece of glassware. Just decided just to keep moving on. Some fall pieces, but nothing that I was really excited about i look at the coffee mugs and i did see a couple coffee mugs that interested me a little bit but i honestly have no business buying coffee mugs either because i have quite a few of them i did notice this little air plant vessel i decided not to get it i have a lot of those as well 
Um, just still just kind of looking and looking for something that's just going to pop out at me and not seeing anything much at all. All right, going through this useful aisle. You know, I do like to dig through this aisle of just kind of a hodgepodge of party goods and things because things can be stashed. And, you know, I have found some decent things looking through this little corner of the thrift store. Um, it's just kind of all thrown in there. So as you can see, it's just, it's really pretty much a mess. There's some plastic wine glasses and this little note caddy of the Blue Bow Goose we all know and love so well. I did not get it, but I did notice these. These were great dinosaur mugs. You could have stegosaurus and triceratops. They weren't that vintage. I didn't get them, but I thought that they were kind of neat all grouped there together. Just still looking for something, anything that's going to be of use to me and just not seeing anything. Looking over at the metal aisle, and I see some Fleurs de Jardin, which is French for flower garden, I do believe. That was a dollar store piece. I've seen it at Dollar Tree many, many times. Still just kind of looking. I have found aluminum uh, salt and pepper shakers and canisters in the metal aisle before, just kind of hoping that there might be something good, and there just wasn't. You know, I tell people all the time to look through the flatware. Sometimes you can find some good Bakelite pieces or small pieces. I just really wasn't feeling it today. So I did not look through that. All right, well, I spent $25 today. I only got one thing. I got a turkey for myself and I got canvases for Emma. So I didn't really buy anything for resale. So it was okay. It was okay. So we're gonna find another one and we're gonna go to another Goodwill. And so come along with us for the ride. We're at another Goodwill today and just behind me, right off the highway, there's a little graveyard. So that's odd, but we're going to get ready to go into the Goodwill and hopefully we can find some stuff and hopefully the music isn't gonna be so blaring loud in there, but we'll see, but let's go in. Mark's gonna go check out the graveyard. He's wanting to see the, what dates are on these graveyards. So let's go in and see what we can find. Hey, looky. Misty found a turkey. Going to put the turkey in the cart. Oh, found another one. I have turkeys. You know, it's turkey season. It's almost turkey season. Oh, there's ghosts. Our ghostesses in the Goodwill. There's lots of people in the Goodwill too. We do have our mask on, so no worries. We're being safe. Okay, lots, I think all of the Halloween stores have decided to take the Halloween stuff to the Goodwill. I believe, oh, here's a little cup. It is a Lego, it is vintage, little Halloween-y cup. I don't think I see any other ones. Here's some more. Oh, I like the witch. I love Frankenstein. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, spooky. All right. Oh, my word. Okay, I'm going to put all these in my cart and show them to Jocelyn. It's M.A. Hadley for 69 cents each. Oh look, there's Nicolas Cage on a cup. <laughs> it looks like Nicolas Cage. It's not Nicolas Cage, but kind of looks like Nicolas Cage. Don't you find a little pumpkin? And it's Lego. It's vintage. I love oh. It. Oh, look at the fruit. Um, those aren't old. That's not an old thing, but they look like old. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah. Look, there's gold digger. Pumper Kurtzen. Where's the figurines at? That's what I'm looking for. Here's some Christmas tree napkin rings. $2.99. That's a little crazy. These are kind of pretty. The Bavaria. See, I don't really want the plates. I just want, oh, look, there's cups. Oh, I like this cake server too. $1.99. There's a lot of people. We're just trying to get what we can and just take a second look, but there's a lot of, this is different, but I don't want to ship that, but it's kind of pretty with the silver. 
lid. This is Fiesta. It's a modern piece of Fiesta though. These little ducks. Oh, so I got these plates. Now this is a different thing than what I normally buy, but I like them. They are Bavarian and they say Emma Wormold. Wormold? 1925. And I got the plates and the cream and sugar. I got a turkey. Oh, and look. This is Lego. It's Korea. But I like Santa mugs. And I don't, I like the pumpkin. So it's going to go on my shelf. So, but look at Jocelyn's card. I know. She's got all. She did. But you're going to have to go to her channel to see what she's bought. But um, we're getting ready to check out now at Goodwill. And so we're going to head to the next one. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure that you, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.